We're back with more Free Run Beyond Journeys, and this is episode 19 that we're doing today. We're in the middle of a cool arc. Um, they're doing the exam. I'm looking forward to the exam. I have been since they mentioned that there was going to be an exam. And now that we're in it, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it even more. I mean, we're getting new characters. The characters look awesome. You know, we got Yubel. We got uh, Lawin and Kane. Like, these, these are characters that... That have great designs and I think are gonna be super interesting. I think Yubel especially, like she seems villainous, but rival is like I don't know if she's gonna be a villain or a rival, or or neither of them. But um, I'm I'm like she could just be a friend as well. But she seemed uh, dubious. So <laughs> I I I'm curious to see where they take that character. But um, for now, I think we're just gonna be finishing because we still haven't finished the first task of the exam right so uh i think we're going to be doing that in this episode but uh yeah if you want to support this channel if you like this video make sure to support the video and the channel as best you can and my patreon account is in the description below for full length early access exclusive videos for both this channel and my gent watches one piece channel so go check that out anyway let's jump into this this is free ren episode 19. i love the way this song uses like the instruments and the absence of instruments back and forth Nice. Well laid plans. <laughs> they cuddled up. Look at them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've seen this, right? <laughs> Maybe we haven't. It just sounded familiar. うまくいかなかったみたいだ。こういうのはきっと冒険の仲間ごとに変わってくるものです。そうだね。いや、just <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be a problem. <laughs> That's a good shot. Yeah, that is a problem. Damn! So it's hard to track. Oh man. That's really tough. Hi, hey, here's a mage exam. All your mage tricks don't work. Oh? A spell that captures a bird. Oh, is that one? Right. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Anything that kind of resembles a bird. Why not? Makes sense. It's about that far. So you need to find a way to sneak up on it. You've got the way to capture them. Mm -hmm. You're a waterbender. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Do you, do you put mana all the places you don't want it? <laughs> Can you infuse your mana other places and then, you know, lure them into one spot? Oh no. Because are they going to be luring all of the birds into one spot? <laughs> oh. His name is Land? Yeah, now you just have to defend. But it's like the finals. If they get it at the very last second, they win. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Well, ferns seem to have some water, didn't it? Slosh around? <laughs> Give you about some of your water. Uh oh. Leave poor fern alone. I mean, she can handle herself. Paul! Oh, look at Yubo's face. <laughs> Shaf. Air. I already forgot how to spell both of those. And Werbel. No thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that free run? Oh my god, what are they doing? Are they freezing all the water? What the fuck? There's gonna be no water for anyone? <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> oh my god, running on ice, careful. Uh-huh. Mm. This guy's smart. I like it. Oh, uh, she's got a plan. You worry about yourself, girl. Just gotta hold on to that bird. Mm. This is so fun. I like it. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, not strange, yeah. I, I think they expect people to die. Yes. Yes. I imagine like a second class mage could deal with this problem. A first class mage, it wouldn't be a problem. That'd be the thinking, I would think. Unless you can control people's hearts, huh? This guy's spitting. <laughs> I believe that. He's got that vibe. Damn, it's interesting we're seeing their plan through the other party's perspective. Mm -hmm. She's infusing all of them with her mana. I haven't seen it, but this girl looks like the girl from Gintama. I saw all the OPs of Gintama and she reminds me of her. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, lure them all to that one watering hole. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, a few you've got to make it here. She's gonna completely conceal her mana? Because she's really good at it. Yeah. Okay, mostly. <laughs> mm, so you have to stay still. Now you just gotta be patient. What is this? <laughs> Fuck off. Hello, miss. Good evening. <laughs> All these creatures are just gonna come to drink water and get out. Those are some feathers. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, great job. Poor bird though. He's like, oh, this looks like a friend. Landed on her. Oh no. Did the spell not work? Oh, okay. No, she got it. 
but now you have to worry about the other parties. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, this girl's awesome. This music's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> that makes sense for fun. She's a very traditional mage. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. She is. She's experienced with basic magic. Well, do you see Weeaboo around here? Oh, interesting. My master defeated the Demon King. What, Yubo will be killed? I doubt it. Oh, this is so good, this arc. What an awesome episode. I love this arc. This arc is so much fun for me. Like I, for some people, you know, Free and Beyond Journey's End is, is about the like slice of life-ness of it. Like the, the calmness, the, the peacefulness of the day to day of living as a mage. Um, and that I really like as well. And I'm not saying this show is about the action to me because it's not necessarily. I think for me, this show is about the characters, and this ep uh, this episode and this arc has given me some really interesting characters, and has like been able to highlight parts of these characters that we already know, um, and like I'm just I'm just loving that, and the fact that it's doing that through action is exciting to me as well. I I do like I I like some good action, you know. I love slice of life as well. Um, I watch I watch slice of life shows. I watch action shows. You know, I I watch a little bit of everything. That's why I, I think this show is really good for me because it's got a little bit of everything, and I already watch all these genres, so it comes together very nicely. You know, um, I I just I am really impressed with the the arc so far. That this is a great way to do this test because yeah, it's a it's a bird that's so so hard to catch and so frustrating and annoying to catch that you either need to be a good enough mage to like to tr trick the bird or whatever into being able to capture it um or you need to be strong enough to take down another mage who caught it and it's and it's really interesting because theoretically you know the person who captured it is going to be a strong enough mage to be able to defend it but it's possible you know they've got a particular um, set of skills, not to quote Liam Neeson, but they've got like a very um, a focused set of skills that help them with capturing animals, but might not help them as much with combat, you know? So mages that are completely combat focused have more of an advantage because they can take it off the people who aren't. Um, but it's really, it's really interesting because then you have, if you have a character like Free Ren who, like, we know is powerful in combat and with like little useless spells as well not useless spells but you know niche spells um then uh we know free run like she's gonna be fine i'm not worried about free run because i've never been worried about free run in this show she's just like a fucking in incredible character and she's she's going to be uh the strongest at least for a while i feel like in this show that we've come across um however uh, Fern, I ca I am a little worried about, but I think she'll be good as well. I mean, she, she right now is still holding her own just using the basic spells that she was taught and stuff. Um, and she's also on a team with Yubel, which just from my vibe of Yubel's character, we really don't know much about her, but I feel like I know enough about her to know she's going to be fine. Like, she's not the sort of character to get defeated right now, I don't think. She's going to do something horrible, <laughs> probably. <laughs> she's got, I imagine she's going to do something really, you know, scary. And, like, she's going to kill someone in a horrible way or something. But she's going to be all right. And she's on Fern's team, so for now, we'll be fine. If in future 
um, parts of the exam or whatever, we have to do 1v1s, which I can't remember if they already said we did or not, but if in future parts of the exam we do have to do 1v1s, that's when Yubo is going to be a problem. That's when I'm worried, because we're going to have to, one of them is going to have to face Yubo. I feel like it's going to be Fern. I feel like if someone like Werble survives, Weeble, Weeble, Verbal, Verbal, Verbal? I guess it's probably like German type, so it might be Verbal. Um, if someone like Verbal, <laughs> I might be pronouncing it completely wrong, but I don't care, um, survives this, that seems like the sort of character that would go against Freerin in a 1v1. Like, he's very strong and underhanded, and he's going to be, um, like, probably extremely powerful, but something that Freerin will be able to handle. And then, um, Yubel, I feel like, would go up against Fern, because, um, they're both they, they both seemingly uh, have a lot of potential, but like probably opposite morals or very quite different morals. Um, so it will be like a battle of that, essentially. I don't know, but I'm really excited. Ah, man, this is just a great show. <laughs> and this arc is like exactly what I wanted from the show, so I'm so happy. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. Make sure to support the video, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account in the description below if you want the full-length reactions, early access, exclusive videos, everything from my Jet Watchers One Piece channel. There's so much stuff over there, so go check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.